What's up guys? Hope you guys are all safe out there. And are you also one of those that always buys loads of equipment that you end up don't using? We are. <laughs> so the first episode of my pastry top five will be just about equipment. On fifth place, a decent good hand mixer. And there's a lot of different types. And this one in specifics from Dynamics works for me pretty good. Actually, it has, okay, works good. It's locked. You're supposed to get this one open. And in case you're working with chocolates and you try to mix to emulfy ganaches and etc., you need this type of mixer, this head because this one doesn't create any air. It does the opposite. You have a lot of bubbles when you do a ganache and this will take it away. If you buy another one, it doesn't have to be this brand, but if you buy another head with this mixer, you will end up having a ganache looking like a mousse. That's not something you're into. And also when you're adding air into a bonbon, it will slowly start to explode because that air wants to get out of the shell. It means that your shelf life is gonna get a lot less. So use a decent mixer. It's time for number four, guns. Spray guns, kind of my favorite toy, to be honest. Not a crucial instrument that you need for developing any type of product, but to get to a next level, to spray a cake nicer, to make a bonbon look even cooler, I think that you should use spray guns. You get an even layer and you could do it so much faster than standing with brushes and painting all of your pralines. These ones are actually bought from like warehouse or constructional things uh, for paintings. So you don't have to buy any specific brand for pastry brushes or whatever. You could just go to a market and buy these ones. They are cheap and they work and they last. Number three, of course, a scale. Should be maybe number one, and maybe the most important equipment that we all pastry chefs use out there. It is one of our biggest missions to be very accurate with our measurements when we're doing recipes and following steps and etc. For your own best and for my own best, I hope that we already know this part and we're already following using scales. So I keep it in the list, but not my favorite, but I think it's the, the thing that I used actually the most. Equipment number two. We're talking about another equipment used for measurements. And of course, we're talking about the thermometers. I always use the two of them. I use one more for cooking liquids for marmalades, pâté fou or uh, anglais or whatever. And I use the second one just for chocolate. Because we all know, working in a kitchen, it could be very, very messy if you have to dip that thermometer stick into the chocolate each and every time by just using the laser ones. You get the exact temperature of your chocolate. But why could you not use this one for the liquids? Because it's only measuring on the very top of the surface. That means if you have a cooking liquid and you start to measuring, you always just get the bubbles of it. And that will be a lot warmer than the liquid itself or not accurate at all. So don't use this one for liquids. So we are down to the top one. My absolute most used equipment in the pastry kitchen. Can we get a drum roll, please? It is an executor knife. And this one, to be honest, is the equipment that I use absolutely the most in the kitchen daily. I use it for kind of everything, for cutting stencils, templates, cutting transfer sheets, whatever, for lifting small, 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 tiny, uh, different type of decorations. I think this is my most all around used tool in the kitchen. You should definitely go to your painting shop and get one. Now. Are you going? 
So these are my top five most used equipment daily in the pastry kitchen. And for you to don't buy expensive, unnecessary things that you will end up not using, as I always do, and Chris always does. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel, put up that little ring bell thing, cowbell. Shouldn't it be a cowbell? More accurately, a cowbell. I think we should have it made to a cowbell. <laughs> Important content. <laughs> Leave a comment if you have another topic for the Pastry Top 5. We already have books, films, accounts that I follow to be inspired from, and ingredients, and now we did equipment. So if you have more, please tell me and give it a thumbs up. I see you guys in the next one.